Hello, I'm Ray and this is my vegetable garden and this channel is all about growing your own fruit and vegetables and flowers and DIY projects on the way so please subscribe but today we've got tomatoes and we've got some heavy duty netting so today we're going to make some tomato cages so let's go So making a tomato cage is quite simple and although in the UK we don't do many tomato cages this would be a good experiment to see how the tomatoes grow with a cage or without a cage. So let me show you what we need to make our cages. So what do we need to make our tower? Well we need some fencing this one's two inches by four inches holes. We need some gloves, some cable ties, tape measure, some snips for cutting the fence and some stakes and of course some tomato plants. we've got this trim fence and this is 10 meters by 1200 millimeters so it is just just over four foot and hopefully this will get a few tomato towers the holes are a bit smaller than would like ideally but as this is in the local store, so it's going to make do. So let's show you. So let's have a look, see what we can do. So this is our netting, and we got 10 meters by 1200 millimeters, and the holes. The holes are around two inches by four inches, which ideally could have done with a bit bigger, but that would be fine. So let's unravel this and cut some down. The fence in, and we're going to roll it out and we're going to give it a measure. I've got a couple of house bricks just going to lay on the sheet and we can unroll it. So we are looking for 60 inches and 60 inches will make approximately a hole, a cage of around 18 inches. So we measure to 60 and this will be the one we chop. Now we need to snip. So we're just going to snip and we're going to snip it halfway in between the two. We leave ourselves a little bit on the end. So we're just going to cut through these wearing our gloves as precaution. And it's just simply cutting through the wire as we go. So if we can see the natural roll of the netting is also made 
a circle. So after our cage has been cut, we can measure and 19 inches, which is perfect. So these are the pits that we snipped and it leaves a lip. And these can be either just folded round, starting in the middle, twisted and can be attached that way. One alternative method is to get your zip tie and zip them together. With the zip ties, once the summer is over, the zip ties can be snipped and the cages can be folded flat and can be kept away for storage. So we're going to do this in the middle first and then we're drawing the end. And then one at this end. So this will be the top and we've joined them together. For added strength, the flips can be flown over like so and this will add more strength. So here we go, all the way down. So there we have our cage. We've got three zip ties in and it's already looking pretty good. So as we're on quite a windy site here, we need to secure this to the ground a bit more so we can make some spikes for the cage to go into the ground. So if we take our fence and we cut right in the middle, so we cut here on the end, and we cut on this end, And we can bend these spikes upwards and these can set into the ground. This will be more effective if the cable was stronger. So this is the bed where the tomatoes are going to go and hopefully we can fit four possibly five, probably four cages in a row. So here we have four tomato cages. Fortunately we couldn't get the fifth one in.
So now all my cages are in place. We need to plant the tomatoes. So just so to know where I'm going to plant them, I'm just going to mark out the pattern of the cage on the ground. And we're going to make a hole in the centre. And that's where we know is the centre of the cage. And that's where the tomatoes can be planted. So these are our tomato plants and they've got a bit leggy being in these small pots. But we're just going to give it a go, dig them a hole. Bury them as deep as we can. Choose the stronger ones. And we'll put them in. There we go. I was like making moats around all my plants. Stronger ones. Come on, more on the end. To add some more strength, the two cages can be zip tied together and that will add a bit more stability. So as an extra precaution to stop these blowing over, we can use our stake and we can drive this into the ground. And then we can use our zip tie, we can attach the cage to the stake. So now it's pretty solid. So we have our tomato in the cage, but how can we reach? 
and this is where we can make some portals. So we take our cross section of four and we make a cut. We don't want to make it too close to the edge because that can spike you as you stick your hands in. So we make a cut halfway along and each four of these Once we made the cut, we take the middle section out and then these remaining bits can just be folded back onto themselves and now they're kept out of the way. And now we've got our handle so we can do anything and we can put these all the way along, wherever required. So here we have our five tomatoes in towers. And beside us, we've got five tomatoes up canes. So it'd be interesting to compare the two. So I hope you found that interesting and I hope you join along in making some tomato cages. Do you do tomato cages? Have you grown in them before? Let me know, leave me a comment. I'd be most interested to see. So anyway, we shall see what the difference is between the towers and the cages and the canes and that'd be interesting. So keep watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and ring that bell. Leave me a comment, that'd be great. So thank you very much. Cheers.